What's up, golfers? Change of scenery here today. We're on the putting green here at P4S Golf. Typically, we're giving you guys tips and tricks on how to improve your body to play golf, but trying to have a little bit of fun once in a while. This quick tip, guaranteed to shave you some strokes off your next round of golf, okay? Again, we I do believe that you do drive for drive for dough to some extent. We we have shown that the further you can hit the ball down the fairway, as long as you're keeping it in play, it's going to make the game easier. However, once you're on the greens, being really good at putting is a huge, huge advantage. The golfers that win week in and week out on tour, typically they're having good putting weeks, better than average putting weeks. Most likely they're going to gain strokes on the field when they're putting. So it is important part of the game. It's one that we don't typically touch on, but this is one of my favorite drills. I use it all the time to help improve your speed control. When we're trying to score and get the ball on the hole, on the green, there's only three things that really, really matter. Number one is speed control. Number two is starting the ball on the line that you intend to. And number three is being able to read the green properly. I'm just gonna focus on the first one because it's the simplest one to, to tackle. And you can do this in less than five minutes when you get to the golf course. It's super simple. I've got three stations set up. One at 20 feet from that fringe way, way down there. There's that ball. That's 20 feet from the fringe. I just paced it off. Seven paces or just under seven paces is gonna be about 20 feet. Then I've got one 10 feet here where I'm standing. That's 30 feet from the fringe. And then this one's 40 feet. Most of the time in a round of golf, if you hit a decent iron shot or approach shot, you're gonna be between 20 and 40 feet a lot of the time. It might be between 30 and 50 feet. So you could change this to go even further to 50 feet if you want to, but I'm just going 20, 30, 40. If you can control your speed, you're gonna be close to the hole and you're not gonna three putt. That is the quickest way to lower your scores and probably the simplest way for you to lower your scores rather than trying to improve your swing mechanics. If you can just not three putt, you're probably gonna save several strokes off your game. So. Here's the tip. I'm setting up to this putt. It's 30 feet from the fringe. I set up normally, maybe look at the fringe. So I'm not looking towards a hole. Again, if you can read the green half decent and read the putt within a foot and your speed's good, you're gonna have a one foot putt. Okay, if, even if you misread it by two feet, but your speed's good, you're only gonna have a two foot putt left, which most people are gonna make. So I take a practice stroke, get an idea of how far this ball is gonna roll. Here's the key. After, as soon as I strike the putt, I'm gonna call it whether the putt, I'm trying to stop the ball on the fringe. So I'm gonna call it whether it's short, long, or right on the fringe. That's where I want the ball to stop. So I've gotta make that call as soon as I hit the putt. Here we go, I look where I want the ball to stop. I come back to the ball, I make my stroke. I feel like it's gonna be short. And then I look, okay, the ball was short of the fringe. So that tells me my calibration between what I'm feeling in my stroke and what the ball is actually doing is in sync. I thought I was gonna be short and I was short. So that means from 30 feet, I've gotta give this a little bit more. So you could hit two or three balls from here and feel like you're getting that ball to stop right on the fringe. Once you've got that distance dialed in, let's move up to 20 feet. This should be a little easier. I usually like to start in the mid range, come a little closer. I should be able to get this one a little bit closer to the stopping on the fringe. Again, take a practice stroke, step in, and make my putt. I'm gonna call it, I think that's gonna be short again. Oh boy. So this is an easy way for me to adjust. I know that if I'm putting like this on the course, assuming the practice green is the same as the ones on the course, I'm gonna have to give it a little bit more gas. So I'm gonna step back to this longer putt now, okay? This is more like what you're gonna see on the golf course, 30 feet, okay, from, oh, this is gonna be 40 feet, excuse me, 40 feet from the fringe. Let's see if we can make this one a good one. I've got those two balls in the distance, actually, it's a nice target. I'm gonna try and roll this through them and get it to stop on the fringe. Make a nice practice stroke here. And let's give it a go. I think that's gonna be good. And, okay, it was a little bit long. Not by too far, it went, made a, might have gone a foot or two past if the fringe wasn't there to stop it, but that was me trying to give it a little bit more. So you wanna do this, I call it a calibration drill, a speed calibration drill from 20, 30, 40 feet. Do it for five minutes and you'll be amazed at how quickly you start 
you'll get a better control and feel for speed. You can do this on uphill putts, downhill putts, flat putts, and that is going to help your speed control. It's going to help lower your score the next time you go out and play. Hopefully you guys found this drill really, really helpful. Give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.